Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning Black in once again to Authentic Black Goddess TV. Also, thanks to those of you who are tuned in on my other networks. So with that all being said, please make sure you like and share this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channels. If you haven't done so already, be sure to click the notification bell and click the word all so that you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadai Shakur, on Instagram at Divine underscore Goddess underscore 27, on Twitter at DGoddess27, on Clubhouse at Queen Amadai Shakur, Patreon Queen Amadai Shakur, and OTW2 at Queen A Shakur. All right, so thank you all for tuning Black in. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Let's see who we have in here in the chat. Hello, Ala. Aliyah Abdullah, hello, Ren. Hello, Queen Adia is black. Judah Queen is black. Mrs. Andra Davis is black. Ayama Abbe, Monique Tusi, Philip, Ms. Eveline, Claudette, Natalie, uh, Nathalie Williams, Stephanie, Monique, William, Lynn, Katia, Rose, Ayama Abbe, Marietta. Okay, Sweet Thea is black. Troubled Gaming, Seven Scales is Black, Hiram X, with Jalen Lewis, Flow Records, Pride at Bentley, Queen Conscious Pearly. All right, everybody. Amelia, I see you in the house. Let's get this party started. So listen, people, let me just say this. One of my subscribers sent me this video of this little rusty, dusty, crusty, busted troll talking smack and talking greasy <laughs> about the queen, no less. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let y'all see his video, Okay. So let y'all see his video. Clearly, he's trying to use my name for cloud. I don't know what he's trying to do, but clearly that's what it seems. But so let me let you see the video, and I'm going to read my fair use disclaimer, and then I'm going to share my screen so that we can all see this. Because, people, this is entertainment. That's what this is. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976 Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statutes that might otherwise be infringing. Let's get fire emojis in the chat, please. Let's get the fire emojis in the chats, people. Now, you all know that I don't start nothing with nobody. I mind my own black business. I don't go out here looking for trouble. I don't go out here picking on people because that's not what the queen does. But I tell you what. When somebody comes for the queen, you best believe that I'm always there with a quick comeback and something to say. Because what I don't do is allow you to just disrespect me, talk about me, come for me and think that you're going to get away with it. That's what you're not going to do. So I'm going to put you on blast. Whoever comes for the queen will be put on blast. All right. Now, with that all being said, let's get into it. Because like I said before, <laughs> uh, yeah, today I got time. Hold on, people. Hold on just one second. Okay, here we go. Making sure I had the right video pulled up. Everyone, please go ahead and like and share this video. What's going on? my video viewing audience this is leonard roy look this is going to be a short video that's going to be an intro to a longer video hold on let me let y'all see the title can y'all see the title it says really queen amadaya shakur that's the title really queen amadaya shakur question mark intro video hashtag leonard roy hashtag army strong all right let's go video that is currently uploading right now from when i went to the store and came back now there's a YouTuber, and uh, their channel popped up in my doggone video view section, right? And the YouTube channel, the title of it is Authentic Black, B-L-A-Q-U-E, Goddess TV. And the personality, the person, says their name is Amada Shakur. Okay. Number one, there's not that big a difference between the spelling of Ramadan and Amada, right? And her name is, you know, <clears throat> it's completely, it's phonetically correct if it's Arabic. 
All right. It's phonetically correct. It's something made up, you know, in the Arabic language. It is phonetically incorrect. That's one thing, right? Now, see, these are those black people that they're ashamed of being a black American because they have no pride in black America. And especially Black History Month, they still have no pride, right? So they want to attach themselves and assimilate to Africa when they really do not know that the Africans do not accept we, the Black Americans that are the descendants of slavery in the United States as them, see? Black folk in the United States got a problem. They think all skin folk is our kin folk. Africans, they don't do that all skin folk or they kin folk. No, we are not accepted. Black card, no good. Okay. And uh, like I said, I got a video coming after this one. It'll be like 15 minutes long. It goes into great detail. But when you if you encounter someone like that, be it in public or online or whatever it is, right? And they're talking about their name is what it is, and this and that, and they have some claims of Africanism, this and that. All you got to do is do one thing. Show me your passport. If the passport that they're holding, if they're even holding the passport, says the United States of America, they are not from Africa. Okay, you can't be from Africa coming to the United States and you get a United States passport. Okay, you're going to have an African passport from whatever country in Africa. Okay, that's one. Have them open it up. Show the stamps. Them traveling to and fro. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's easy. It's easy to find out the truth on people. You know, like I said, you have a lot of blacks in the United States. They have no doggone pride in black America, being black American, or the accomplishment of our many ancestors that paved the way for us to continue striving forward. You know, your Benjamin Banneker's, your Carter G. Wilson's, your Frederick Douglass, your Nat Turner's. Your Malcolm X, your Martin Luther King, your Fred Hampton, Huey P. Newton, Angela Davis, bad girl, Stokely Car Carmichael, you know, George Washington Carver, you know, they, nothing. They, you know, you go into the doggone, even athletics, your Satchel Page, you know, your Josh Gibson, Jackie Robinson, you know. Come on now. Come on. No pride. No pride in that at all. Don't even mention that, you know. Your Jesse Owens that went and completely annihilated, annihilated the Nazis in track and field. No, 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 no pride in our accomplishments. They're so busy running away from us and trying to run into the arms of a people in Africa that are not accepting them with open arms. You are considered too Bob by Africans. You don't have to like it. It's a fact. And I speak on in detail about that in the video after this one. Love, peace, hair grease. Let's be proud of ourselves and our accomplishments of our ancestors, Black America opposed to trying to run off someplace for acceptance elsewhere when we got all the love we need right here it's a lot we could do amongst ourselves but we won't come together and do it and contrary to what people believe i'm going to go over the five minute mark by maybe 30 seconds blacks in the united states black americans contrary to popular belief we are the most privileged Black people on planet Earth, bar none. Only if we saw it and we knew it and we capitalized off it. Because I'm sure capitalizing off of it. End of video. Peace. I want to say this. I'm going to tell y'all something, because when I listen to that, and I sent it to my friend, and my friend texted me back and said, he obviously hasn't listened to your show. No, he didn't listen to my show. I don't think he listened to it. You know what I think? 
I think that my video popped up in his feed, like he said, one of his recommendeds, perhaps. He looked at it and he saw my Egyptian imagery. This bum bula backyard booty <laughs> dungeon donkey. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lexus, for your contribution. Next play. Okay, thank you for your contribution. Peace, love, and blessings to you. I think he looked at one of my videos. Or maybe looked at my logo on my page that I created myself, by the way. But he saw my commission, right? Images on here, the all seeing eye of Horus, the onx. He saw that. This is just what I'm thinking. I don't know where he gets the fact that I relate to Africa and not to our people here. This just goes to show how people run their mouth. I'm going to tell you what it is. Maybe he's heard about me in these YouTube streets. Maybe he has watched my videos, but he clearly has not watched enough of them to know who the F I am. That's what he hasn't done. I'm going to tell you something. I never said I was African. Haven't I always said that I'm not from Africa? Haven't I always said that I'm a native of Cherokee descent? But see, now I got to show my receipts. But before I show my receipts, let me say this. He said my name. Now, I don't play that. Don't talk about my name. That's what you're not going to do. Now, he was insinuating that I'm a Muslim because he said that's not what it means. Or maybe he thinks I'm not a Muslim. I don't know. It sounded like he was insinuating that when he said Amadah. It's not too different from Ramadah. First of all, my name is not Amadah. It's Amadaya. Okay? It has the most highest name on the end of it, Yah. Amadaya. Because I'm a child of Yah, the most high Yah. All right? But with that being said, let me say something. Now, my full name, for those of you who don't know, you who know me personally in the chat, you know my real name. It is Amadaya Amadahi Shakur. He said my name was phonetically not correct if it's Arabic. What's not correct? Boo. Because I added an H. You see when they spell it in Arabic? They spell it the exact same way, but they take the H out. But let me say something. My name was originally spelled just the way it sounds. A-M-A-D-A-H-Y. I mean, Y-A-H, right? It was spelled that way. But I changed it because it looked too similar to my middle name, which is Amadahi, which is A-M-A-D-A-H-Y. They look the same, so I changed the spelling. That's all I did. That is all I did, okay? And the way my name initially was spelled, it means one who loves God. Like my last name means grateful or thankful unto God, Shakur. My middle name, Amadahi, is Cherokee, because I'm Cherokee. And it means forest water. Now, in Arabic, my name, it simply means it's a Muslim sect. You know, they have different sects of Muslims. So it's just a sect of, Mus of a Muslim people in Arabic. He said that it wasn't right in Arabic. I speak Arabic. Abdiki Arbishwe. Okay? Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Please, miss me with it. I also speak Hebrew and French and Spanish. Don't come for the queen, boo with your rusty, dusty, bust itself looking like a troll. And he's talking about, I have no pride in African-Americans and black people. He has no pride. Did you see his teeth, his grill? He has not only no pride in us, he has none in himself. Thank you for your contribution, Desmond. Peace, love, and blessings to you. He has no pride in himself. Did you see his dirty fingernails? Did you see his dry, crusty lips? Did you see that sofa he was sitting on that looks like he got it from a dumpster and drug it home. Like he dragged it home and sat it there. It could be infested with bed bugs. That's what it looks like. But he wants to come for the queen and say, I don't care about black people. If I don't care about black people, why is my name authentic black goddess? Why do I report for the new black media? Why do I talk about the ills and the social injustices perpetuated upon black people now i do not classify identify myself as an african-american because that is what's made up it's not my name fool i mean i guess you could say my name is made up because everyone's name is made up right aren't all names literally made up but he 
tried to come for me and say that I don't care about black people. I'm not proud of black people. And then here's the thing. Did you notice when he was naming people that he claims I don't care about and I'm not proud of? He actually named Malcolm. He named Malcolm. Wasn't Malcolm a Muslim? See how niggering he sounds. See how stupid he sounds. Clearly clout chasing. And then he said, if I even have a passport. Here's the thing. The queen has a passport, although I don't need one because I have an authenticated birth certificate. And for those of you who saw the video that I taught you how to authenticate your birth certificate, I told you that that can be used to travel abroad. Depending on where you're going. If you're going to a non-hate country, right? But if you're going to a place that a country that doesn't, that is that isn't non-hake and it's under the Hague Convention, then you need the apostille. And which I told you how to do that one too. I don't know who this fool thinks he is. If she even has a passport. Dude, if you even have a toothbrush, use it before it's too late. Your teeth are hanging on by hopes and prayers. How do you tell that nigga kill yourself in Arabic? How do you tell that nigga kill yourself in Arabic? Okay? Let me just show y'all something. Now, I'm not going to show this whole thing. I'm going to cover. I covered up my personal information. Now, I want you all to see this. It's a glare of light, so you may not be able to see all of it. You see that? See my name on there? Amadaya Amadahi Shakur. What does it say? Indigenous, autochthonous. I'm going to read it to you. He said, I'm not proud of this country, not of the country, but not proud of my people and that I'm from here. Let me say something. Amadaya Amadahi Shakur. And this is, this is court filings. This is documented proof and evidence. This is legal paperwork. Okay? Sestu via Trust Acts. Now listen. Amadaya Amadahi Shakur, indigenous, autochthonous, flesh and blood, melanites, female Cherokee descent, claim in accord with the United Nations on the rights of indigenous peoples. And then you see all the statues it has right there, verified Constitution of Oxycontin, Nation of Yamasee Moors. Because that's my nationality, it's more. Miss me with all of it. I'm indigenous to this land, fool. I never said I was from Africa. Although I do love Africans. And I have African ancestors. Because I have Africans and Cherokee in my family. You see, all of my family didn't come over on slaves. Some of them were already here and they were enslaved. Clown. Now, the thing is this. You see, people like him, let me tell you something. I've seen his channel a couple of times. What he does is he goes around trolling other black people. That's how he gets his little clicks and views. He did the same thing with Grandmaster Jay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw him doing that. He's done this to other black people. This is what he does. His channel's been up for years. Okay, his channel's been up for years. All right? And I saw somebody left a comment on his channel because I left a comment on there too when I saw that video. And I'm so glad somebody sent it to me because I probably never would have seen it. But somebody left a comment basically saying that his channel's going to blow up. I said, blow up how? How? Not his name, Leonard Roy. Sounds like a slave master name. Sit down, Leonard. Sounds like he speaks the language of roaches, rats. And that's the thing. He's trying to clown my name, but you weren't the slave master's name. Please don't go there with me. That's what he need not do. But anyway, let me continue. Like I said, I have seen him before talking about black people. And somebody left a comment saying his channel was going to blow up. I said, blow up how? I said his channel's doing the same thing he's doing, and that's going nowhere. 
Okay. <laughs> Give me a knife. <laughs> ah, Solomon cut it out. Exactly. Never heard of him either. Right. How many years hasn't he been brushing those funky teeth? <laughs> he might be old. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. He might be old and dusty, but he didn't lie. <laughs> uh, Sunshine, he didn't lie about what? <laughs> he didn't lie about what? I'm not proud of my people. Is that what you're saying? Maybe you're a troll too. Can he even spell it? Absolutely. Should change his name for Leonard to split it until he put on some chapstick. Ah, he's cloud chaser chasing crack dreams. Oh, there are more about you, sister, but they accuse you and they are wrong. Yes, of course. But here's the thing, Marv L. Here's the thing. Those people are cloud chasing. And I find it very interesting that I haven't even been on YouTube for a year. And I've already had a cyber stalker, a channel taken down, and numerous trolls doing videos about me. Now, some people that did videos weren't trolls, clearly. But even trolls doing videos about me. What does that say to you? <laughs> it says a lot to me. Quite frankly, I love it. I love it. Okay? So with that all uh, being said, uh, some of these people are just sad. They have nothing better to do. I'm still trying to figure out what this person in the chat was talking about when they said he might be old and dusty, but he didn't lie. I asked you the question, do you have anything to say for yourself? I'm just curious. He didn't lie about what? I'm giving you a chance to answer because I would like to hear what you have to say. I'm waiting. You see, the thing about these trolls is they love to talk shite, but when you put them on blast and call them out, they don't say nothing. They have nothing to say. They have nothing to say. I'm looking for her name. Yeah, Sunshine. Sunshine, what do you have to say for yourself, boo? I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. And whatever is the reason, I'm writing a name down so I can remember it for later. Whatever your reason for being in my chat, beloved, why are you here if he didn't lie? Instead of being on the queen. You should be on his channel. Anyway, people, I wasted enough time on that, but clearly I had time today. So I just wanted to bring that out, okay? I just wanted to bring that out because I thought it was quite hilarious. Yes, everyone, let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up, please. Like and share. Like and share the video. Subscribe to the channels if you haven't done so already, okay? If you are not loving your people, hold on, hold on. No one would ever hate on you. Absolutely, Chelsea. Thank you, beloved. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's okay. Not he was smoking the butt of a <laughs> of a hand rolled cigarette. He wild, mad, heavy, disrespectful, cretin. He is. Yes, absolutely. This is what they do. Okay. This is what they do. He spoke the truth, but he probably didn't watch your videos in full. Yeah, he didn't watch them in full. That's what he didn't do. That's what he now he spoke truth about the people that we should be proud of. Yes, he did speak truth about that. But as far as him saying that I attach myself to Africa, let me tell you something. I'm not an African, even though I love Africans. I am a Cherokee native, and that's just the facts. Many of black people here are Cherokee natives. Sadly, some don't know it. I know who I am. That's why they can never catch me slipping. And allowing them to label me as property, which is what Executive Order 13037 says about the term or the phrase African American that Jesse Jackson coined in the 80s. That's a made up term. Kendall says, oh, raggedy ice. Absolutely. Queen, you know who you are and those and who, who you. Hold on. I'm sorry. You know who you are and those and whose you are. Keep your vibrational frequency high. Yes, all day, every day, honey, and twice on Sundays. Mr. Jim. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Gingivitis at the mouth. He raggedy. 
clearly he has nothing better to do. Like I said, people, I have seen him do videos before going in on black people. That's how he makes his. Yes, he used me for clickbait. Yes, absolutely. But clearly didn't do his research. Absolutely, Miss Natural Candy J. So uh, Brown said, what's that law again? Uh, it's Executive Order 13037, signed by Bill Clinton. He looks like a Dusty Clarence. Please, sir, shut that grill. <laughs> okay, he needs to. So anyway, people, I'm going to go ahead and close out this broadcast. I would like to thank you all for tuning Black In. If any of you happen to see videos where someone's talking smack about the Queen, please send it to me. Please send it to me because I'm always here for it. All right? Because he doesn't know me, nor has he been watching my videos on a regular Clayton Bigsby. Absolutely, Desmond. Absolutely. Thank you for your contribution. Peace, love, and blessings to you. He doesn't know me, okay? Can we send him some chapstick? Somebody needs to. I would prefer CarMax. Okay? I would prefer CarMax. He needs that more so. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out this broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning Black in. Now, people, please stay tuned. Before I close out chat you all know that i'm going to be on my other channel at nine o'clock the other channel at nine o'clock hold on where's that the root of all evil queen amadai tv presents the root of all evil gonna be on there at nine o'clock for anybody who wants to tune in you know i talk about the fairest things that people do for money Okay, so we're going to get that popping at nine. So let me hurry up and get off of here so I can get that live ready and post it. Brandon says, can you tell us how we can trace our lineage back to see where we descend from? What would you recommend? Brandon, you know what, honey? That's a long, a long story. I don't know. I learned from my ancestors, people in my family. My grandmother told me when I was a kid that we were Cherokee. Okay. I told my, my grandmother taught me that when I was a child. That's how I learned and, and knew or whatever. And then I was able to trace back from other relatives even further back than her. So as far as you finding that out, you need to ask the oldest person in your family and start there. But don't pay for these uh, DNA things that they have or whatever. I don't trust any of that. I think they store people's DNA in a database somewhere for nefarious reasons. That's my opinion. Queen, you're going to be on Lisa Cabrera. Yes. How did you know that, Mimi? Is it posted already? I'm glad you brought that up. I almost forgot to tell you guys. Listen, I'm going to be on Lisa Cabrera's show tomorrow at 5. I'm also going to be on um, King BJ Johnson's show tomorrow at 11. That is King BJ Johnson, okay? Tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And on Lisa Cabrero's tomorrow at 5 p.m. So all of the royals, please make sure you tune black in. All right. So with that all being said, thank you so much. And I will be talking to you all again soon. Enjoy the rest of this lovely evening and stay in high vibrational frequencies. Don't let the haters get to you. Try to do something productive and constructive. And always remember to keep the most high first in your life.